Hello! I thought I would catch you up on a few things that I've been up to at school at SCAD. Uh, yesterday my roommates Laura and Amber and I had makeup and cupcake, cupcake time and it was really fun. We made Halloween cupcakes with red velvet um, cupcake mix and then we put orange icing on top with sprinkles and they were really good. And then we did makeup just for the fun of it. And I still have a little bit left here in my eyes. And it was really fun. It was good to just have like half an hour of just hang out time with each other. Because we really haven't had that since we've been here because we've all been really, really, really busy with schoolwork and homework. For the homework that I'm working on right now, I'm making a mosaic. And the way the teacher assigned it is you pick one scene and then you basically take 50 pictures of that scene. Like, let's say you start here and you take a picture and then you move it and take a picture, move it, take a picture, move it, take a picture, then move down and do the same thing. And just keep doing that until you have 53 pictures of the one scene and then you put them all together and hopefully it looks okay. <laughs> so that's what I've been working on this weekend is finding scenes that I like and taking pictures of them and trying to find one that looks okay and it's really difficult to do if you have lots of wires going everywhere in the telephone poles and if you decide to do a big tower that has lots of lines and stuff in it that's hard to assemble so just be careful if you have this assignment anytime soon for photography foundations choose something that doesn't have a lot of lines going everywhere. Like, choose a building that's just the building with open sky and land and trees. Like, trees can be a little hard to do, but they're not half as hard as getting all of the, the telephone wires. Because when you move, your perspective changes, and then, like, it's just all messed up. <laughs> it's really hard. Um, but I've enjoyed it. And then... What else did I do this weekend? We went shopping. We always go shopping on the weekends for groceries that we need. We had pancakes. Laura made pancakes and they were really good. And my Amber's here. Hi Amber, say hi to YouTube. I'm making a video. That's my roommate Amber. You all haven't seen her yet. This is her homework. Can I read it to the YouTube? Okay. She says I can read it to you. It says, hello, this is your student. I hope you have had a lovely weekend. And if I can catch a bus, I will see you on Tuesday. Finn Amber Ferguson, Professor David Harland. Okay, and other stuff I can't read to you. <laughs> and then this is your postcard. So your homework was to make a postcard? Yes. Yes. Okay, so this is this, and then this is what I just read. I know it's backwards, but you're just going to have to deal with that. It looks nice. Thanks. You're welcome. I think we'll enjoy the pictures. I think so too. I liked how you had it with words and then had the drawings next to it. That was really cute. I'm a professor. Yes. So instead of pausing it like what I've done before, I felt that you should meet my roommate and see your beautiful artwork. And she's recently been drawing lots of pictures of me, like little cartoon versions of me, which I really like that she does that. And I'm getting ready to show you one right now. It's the only one that I can actually show you because all the others were on my whiteboard that I have. So this is like her little drawing of me. It's so adorable. That's one of the benefits of having um, artists as roommates is they'll draw you and help you out with your homework. It's really, really nice having all of my roommates be at SCAD at the same time because we're going through the same stuff at the same time. We're all into art so we can help each other and we all see things differently. And it's really nice telling you about my homework. I don't remember. <laughs> um, I have a car down here. I really like having my car down here. I take it to my photography classes now because there's parking behind the building. But don't tell anyone because it's hard to find parking. <laughs> so just ignore that I told you that. If you're going to be attending while I'm attending. It doesn't exist. Um, Amber has a car down here, but she doesn't like driving. She's driven it to a few classes. So on the weekends, whenever we go shopping for groceries, I'm always the one driving, but my roommates and I have worked it out as to them giving me gas money and stuff, so that's really nice. 
I don't mind driving because I have a GPS and it can tell me to go wherever I need to go. I think it covers the US and Canada. Maybe a little bit of Mexico, I don't know, but I'm not planning on driving there anytime soon. <sighs> Midterms is next week. My grandmother is coming the weekend after that, and then the weekend after that is Masquerade Ball. And I'm really excited for the Masquerade Ball, and its theme is The Great Gatsby. I don't have anything that fits that theme, but I have a Renaissance Fair costume that if I don't find something cheap for The Great Gatsby, then I'm going to wear that. It's going to be exciting and fun, and my roommates are going to go with me. One of them isn't because her boyfriend decided he was coming down at that time, and she would rather spend time with him, which obviously is a good choice. Um, I don't know. I'm having lots of fun down here. Lots of homework all the time. Barely any time to clean my room because I have so much homework. One of these days I'll show you how my room looks in the dorm and going to my class on Tuesdays and Thursdays because I walk to my morning class and then I have a friend from that class that drives me to my second class most of the time and if not I catch a bus then I catch a bus home from there and then I do my work. <laughs> Basically, how my week normally goes is on Mondays, I wake up whenever I wake up, I go to class that starts at 2, if I wake up early I do homework before then, if not I just wake up and get ready and go to class, then I get out at 4.30, then I eat dinner, or do homework, and then do more homework. <laughs> Then on Tuesdays, I wake up early and go to my 8 o'clock class, get ready and eat breakfast and all that good stuff beforehand. Then my roommate drives me, not my roommate, my friend from that class drives me to my next class because she has classes in that building on Tuesdays. And then I get out 2.30, I think, and then I do more homework, and then same thing as Wednesday is Monday, same thing on Thursday is Tuesday, and on Friday I sleep in as much as I can depending on how much noise my roommates are making and depending on stress levels and stuff. And other people making noise because there's a lady downstairs that sings and I can hear and I can hear music. And then I do homework. And sometime in there I go shopping and get groceries and then I do more homework. And that's like the whole weekend <laughs> and clean my room if I can. And then on Sundays I go to church and then I come home from church and I do more homework because homework's all I basically do down here. <laughs> but I'm enjoying it. My classes are really good. I like the homework. It's really helping me out a lot. I'm understanding the processes more. I like how it flows together. It's very professional. It's really job related. It's not just like here's an assignment. It doesn't really matter for the rest of your life. No, it actually matters. Like with my first homework assignment for my computer class, we made a resume and we made a logo for ourselves. That's really important. Um, I think that's it. I just wanted to catch you up on what all was going on in my life. Oh, there's the film fest. And I'm going to try to go to that depending on my homework. And I'm excited for that because it's a big event. So that's all. Bye, have a good day.